Rebel Canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. <laughs> we all can use a little bit more of the old ways these days. Today we're recanning nacho cheese sauce into individual containers for snacks. This recipe makes 16 half pint jars. I washed and sanitized 18 jars just in case. Go ahead and open your jar. Make sure that your can opener is very clean and nothing falls down into your cheese. That step is actually really important. Got it going? Mm -hmm. Okay. A long ways around here. Mm hmm. How big is the can, Tammy? How big is this can? Um, this can is 106 ounces, which is 6 pounds, 10 ounces. It's almost 7 pounds of cheese. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. Yeah. What are you making? I am going to make individual cans of cheese sauce because I have a bunch of pretzels in the freezer. And then you guys can have your own cheese sauce with a pretzel. Hmm. And this is not... Working. No. Here. I think it's, oh, it's done. It just keep it keeps spinning it. Yeah. We'll see. I know it's done when we get back over here to this side. Okay, so I'm, so I am gonna double boil system heat up the cheese in this double bo makeshift double boiler right in the big number ten can and that'll help it go into the jars easier so just gonna get that ready yep ready going uh-huh okay yeah putting the cheese into the jars now right yes oh you put the whole can in there i did not realize that <laughs> okay watch keep the camera steady because when you jump up and down then it makes the camera not steady Mom. Mom's not here yet. And I'm videotaping. Go play somewhere else. Okay. Please and thank you. Thank you. I'm going to go ahead and wipe those rims. I do not use vinegar when I'm doing cheese. And then I just put one of my superb lids on. They might be. And a put lid. the ring on finger tight. Okay. Got two for these jars too. All right, turn off. That's really hot, so you have to be careful. My funnel will not work. I want to leave a good one inch headspace. That's probably a little, I may have to adjust this one. And again, I'm just going to wipe the rims off immediately. Get all of that off. I may have to take a little out of that because I didn't leave enough headspace. If you want to save on superb lids jars, Use the code REBELCANNERS10 on the website, listed in the comments below. Now I am. All right, so taking a little bit out here because you really want to keep that one inch headspace. See, I had really put way too much in there. I mean, wipe the rim, and then I'll put a lid, one of my superb lids on. I do not use vinegar to wipe them, just a clean paper towel. And then put the ring on, finger tight. And just finger tight. There you go, finger tight. That's all it needs to be. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these jars done. I 
I just love the pretty ribbon the cheese makes when it goes in the jar. Yeah, it's so yellow. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and double stack these in my water bath canner. I then cover with one inch of water, bring it up to a boiling and a good boil. Not just a little bubble bubble, but a good rolling bubble boil and process for 25 minutes at a boil. And here they are out of the canner and in individual size jars ready to eat. Why do I reprocess like this? Because I can save money. I can buy one of these number 10 cans for less than two small cans at the grocery store and recan them into individual sizes and save double the amount of money I would spend on buying them individually. Remember, can all you can can. This recipe and many others are found in the Rebel Canners Recipe Files recipe book on Amazon. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can see the rest of the videos in this series. Thank you and have a great day. Check out this great playlist on prepping your pantry.